Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance being touted as the next generation of the Republican Party. But it's the potential second lady, Usha Vance, that has everybody talking. Senator J.D. Vance. Usha is formidable on her own, meeting her husband at Yale Law School after getting her master's in philosophy from the University of Cambridge. And if that's not enough, she clerked for Supreme Court Justices Brett Kavanaugh and John Roberts. Vance telling Megyn Kelly in 2020. People don't realize how just brilliant she is. The candidate for vice president has repeatedly said she humbles him and he relies on her counsel. In a rare appearance on Fox and Friends alongside her husband, she was asked if she is ready for the scrutiny of being a second lady. The first campaign that he embarked on to be a shock. It was so different from anything we'd ever done before. But it was an adventure. And so I guess the way that I'd put it is I'm not raring to change anything about our lives right now. Mm -hmm. But I really... You know, I believe in J.D. and I really love him. And so mm -hmm. we'll just sort of see what happens. Usha has been less forthcoming so far on where she stands politically. She voted in a Democratic primary as recently as 2014, according to public records, but then voted in the 2022 Republican primary when her husband was running for Senate in Ohio. She is Hindu, raised by Indian immigrant parents in California. Her husband credits her with helping him return to his faith. Even though I was raised Christian, I'd, I'd never been baptized. So I was baptized the first time in 2018, I think. It's funny, U Usha was not raised Christian. Is actually not a uh, Christian. Oh, really? Yeah, but I, I remember when I started to re-engage with my own faith, um, Usha was, like, very supportive. After Donald Trump announced his VP pick, she resigned from her corporate law position. With the stakes so high in this pivotal election, she'll likely serve not only as a mother, but counsel to her husband, the possible next vice president of the United States. Kelly Rippin, WLWT News 5.